Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Lord of the Rings online let's play. And we are back with Baird Beam, who has come back out to Thornhead to talk to Eladon. And I think he came out and he was very tired and he, he just kind of camped with the brothers, got to know them a bit, shared some of his own adventures with them, talked about, you know, getting the uh, Silithar um, from the Blue Lady. Even though we technically haven't gone in there because it's a group quest and I don't... can't find a group for it. <laughs> um, but he's sharing all those experiences with them and just kind of making friends look... It looks cool. Alright, Eladon. The words of Lord Glorfindel are most wise, and his gift of this barrel brings me hope that we may be able to regain the trail of the missing Nazgul. You have my thanks, Baird Beam, but now I must determine where we are to bring the barrel in order to reveal the Nazgul's location. Mind my words, traveler. I have given some thought to our riddle, Baird Beam, and while I do not know if this is the answer, my heart tells me that we must exhaust this course before we can be sure it is fruitless. Many caves dot the wilderness of the Trollshaws, home to the creatures that give this place its name. The missing Nazgul suffered some grievous hurt when caught between the fires of Glorfindel and the ranger Aragorn and the waters of Brunian, and he must have escaped to some secluded corner of the wild to regain his strength. I believe he fled to one of the troll caves. I will write down the names and locations of three caves, descend into the deepest chamber of each, and hold Glorfindel's barrel aloft. We must learn if the Nazgul hid within one of these caves in order to pick up his trail. Bring allies to these caves, for the trolls that lurk within are dangerous. Here are my notes, Baird Beam. Alright, well we... We'll bring one of our pets, but I'm not bringing an ally. Um... Okay, there's three caves. One here, here, and yeah. So let's go to this closer one first, and when we get up here we can pick up this travel, whatever it is. Let's go grab this first. Where? Over here? Oh gosh. No, I didn't want to bite ya. Lots of bears. There's a troll, so it must be a troll cave. Right there. Okay. We'll head into the troll cave, the first of three. Let's see what we can get out of them. Right, here we go. And we gotta use our barrel now. Before, I had the pet put away. No. Did I have it out and use the barrel? Or did I have it away and use the barrel? I think I had it out and used the barrel. Let me use the barrel and um, then bring out our pet. Okay, we're at 8,000. Yeah, 1,009. <laughs> it doesn't work again. All right, we'll just bring out the raven and we're still on red line, right? Yeah, okay. Let's get these guys. Bum, 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 bum. Ah! Tossing me around like a ragdoll, man. Go on here, because we need to get those. So these guys are still tough, even with the barrel. Although we're, in, I mean, I mean, I say tough because they take a lot of hits, but we're not going down in health, so not too dangerous unless the barrel glyphs or um, glyphs glitches on us. Hey, dude, <laughs> came around the corner. Hey, my man. You, you. Ah. Stop stunning me and knocking me around, man on you back, huh? How do you like it? If I cracked earth, because doesn't that do fire damage? Yeah. Okay. 
right? Don't sling me. Oh, hey. Hey, friend. I, I said don't fling me. <laughs> Is that a warden? That's a warden. I got a... Got an eagle or something with him. Beep -doop -boo. Kill this guy, don't you worry. I wonder if he's near uh in the same quest. What uh, level is he? 34. He must be Deedon. We couldn't pick up the story quest at level 34. I don't know what he's doing. Crazy guy. What you doing in here? Maybe that's why he's making me go first. <laughs> uh he's not like talking to me or anything, is he? I don't have it actually turned on. Yeah, okay. I'll make sure I don't accidentally ignore him or anything. How's he doing up there? He's fighting someone. He, he's gotta be able to, because these guys would destroy him if he wasn't a, uh... Oh, it doesn't show, it doesn't show it has inspired greatness. Just in here, killing things like that that quick without that? Or does it not show inspired greatness on, um, on other people? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with him. <laughs> Who knows? I'm just excited we came across another player. <laughs> you know? To be fair, there are a lot of players in the um in the towns and the new the new kind of not expansion really but the new um patch came out so there are probably a lot of players out in the new zones doing doing that sort of stuff we're not going to come across a lot of people re-leveling all the way from level one i mean what is it now 130 levels that's a lot and you see the pace that we're going at. That being said, I do know the player base is a little low. We've reached the deepest chambers. Find the deepest chamber of Torga. Use Glorfindel's barrel. Bum, bum, bum. Remains dark. Okay. The guy wasn't here. Is this a scholar case? Awesome! Burgundy! Ooh. We could become the Burgundy wizard. <laughs> Ooh. You know, he might dress up a little bit fancier once he gets, uh... Actually, once we get more cosmetics. But once he gets a little more story-wise... <laughs> um used to himself and who he wants to be right now he still thinks of himself as you know a modest uh modest scholar and lore master he doesn't think he's a hero or anything hey friend you want some help with this i'll help you out you help me out Oh. Okay. Uh, thanks for returning the favor. Appreciate it. <laughs> he just ran off. Like, nope. Not helping you out. Even though I stopped and helped you. He just wants to get out of here. I, I too just want to get out of here, but I thought we had something. Is this the exit? Drink swells and sh Yes, yes, I know. Okay, now, the last time I did this, we had a problem where I had a cooldown 
of being able to use this again, so I had to go do something else and come back to the quest. I hope that is not the case anymore. I hope they fix that. Ah, he, he's deeding. <laughs> he's doing deeds out here, killing trolls. Is that That is a deed out here, right? He's gotta be deeding. Or that quest, I guess. The repeatable quest. Um, where are we? Shire. Get out of here. Troll Shaws. Troll Slayer, yep. I want to get... To the other place. Now, if we have to use this stone again... I'm gonna try it when we have our pet out already. And see if that makes a difference. And uh, if it does, we've figured it out. If it doesn't, I I don't I don't know. It's busted. It's busted for Lore Masters. We'll go with that. Lore Masters got the shaft. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you're in our way. Drake too is in our way. I thought I thought there was a. I I don't think I was supposed to jump down here. <laughs> I'm lost in the troll shaws. In these deep ravines. And it's nighttime. All of a sudden, how long did we spend in that cave? I guess it might have been sunset. I thought it was sunrise when we went in, but. I, obviously not. <laughs> okay, I just want to get this, um... Stable Master real quick, and then we'll go back to... Spelunking. Ow. In a moment. I don't think we'll have to come back out here for anything, I'm trying to remember, but... It's always nice to have... Stable masters and travel routes. In case we do come back out here indeed or quest do these quests. But this series is gonna be going on for quite a while. With the um with us leveling up, so just heads up on that. <laughs> just a just a heads up. We are not even what close. We we've you? got like once we hit 50 and we continue on the book quest, we've got so much book quest to do at level 50 before we even start Moria. And then once we get Moria, that one is intense and insane. And then we go to, uh, you know, Lothlorien and then um, Mirkwood, and then Rohan. Then is it Gondor after that? I lose, I stopped playing for a very long time. So I don't quite know <laughs> what comes after Rohan. I'm assuming Gondor. And eventually we get into uh, Mordor itself. There's a lot that goes on in between now and then. So I'm thinking like... Gosh, what episode are we on now? Like, in our 40s are we? I'm thinking like a thousand episodes, you guys. <laughs> like, like it's gonna be a lot. We're gonna be a ton of episodes before, and um, we might want to do seasons on this to try to break it up a little bit. I don't know how we'd break up seasons. We could do it by book, I suppose, but even that's a little. Iffy. Is that bear fighting with us? Because I, I don't know how to get down here. Whee! Yep. <sighs> Can you all not? <laughs> Just leave me alone. Now we gotta go up, but sometimes you gotta go down to go up, right? Am I right, guys? <laughs> 
I mean, on a trampoline. Oh! Here's the trolls from the book. Uh, and the movie, I suppose. Oh, we found Bilbo's trolls. One where he, uh, this is where they had Bilbo and they were trying to cook him, but then, uh, they waited too long and got turned to stone because the sun rose. This is that. <laughs> I think that's how it happened in the book. It's been, a, been a while since I read The Hobbit. I only watched the movies once because I didn't like them. Well, it's not the fan. Alright, we should be on the right track now for both these caves. Um, not that one, because we have to go down to go up, like I said. Ow. Okay, we'll go get this one first then. I think we gotta go... Up there, I suppose. Alright. Troll cave, you should be... Right there. That right? That's this guy. Hey, dude. Uh, I'm just gonna head in here for a second. <laughs> They're all lowly. Oh, <laughs> he dismounted us. Can I command your pet at this time? Alright. Dismiss you. No, no, no. We want you out. Um, I'm gonna bring out Mavar. Run forward. Can I use this elf stone? Hello? I can't use the elf stone. Oh, and we've got it. Did it, did that do to my worst thing? I don't think it did. Thousand? Nah. It was like six thousand or something. It comes out. Yeah, because Anna only had. Oh god, it goes. It goes like up and down. I hate it. That's what I hate about this. It's all tricky. Like, let me get into the cave and use it. Oh god. Here we go. We're gonna. Yeah, God, I hate that they push us around and they push us out of the thing, so now we're down to low health, but we shouldn't take too much damage. Man, if they push us further and we stayed in there, we'd be taking all the damage right now. the barrel thing. Why? We, I, I was standing still and it went away. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. I, this is what, this quest in particular drives me nuts with that. Barrel doesn't work on the pets. It's in and out in this cave. I don't understand. Don't understand why. Please give me. <sighs> now we're without our barrel buff. I'm just gonna run through all the. Did we have it again and it went away? No. I'm gonna go run through them all. I hope that we get it back at the back of the cave. Nope. We sure didn't. Alright, we've reached the deepest road and we're about to die. Okay. Do this and run out of here. Oh, God, I hate it. It, do it makes no sense to me. This quest.
They run faster than me, so I can't even escape them well enough. We're gonna die on our way out. And then there's a elite troll waiting for us right outside. Yeah, strength swells in you, blah blah blah. Get outside. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm a little salty, sorry. <laughs> I hate that, like why it wears off in the middle of it. We were just standing still and it wore off. Um, exhaustion. Yep, cannot receive the inspired effect for 10 minutes, but I have another cave I need to go. That's what the problem is. They didn't fix that. That sucks. All right, well, let's go to the other cave and maybe that debuff will be off by the time we go in there. I doubt it, but um, give it a go. Okay, and the music's gone and oh, I'm, uh, I need a nap. <laughs> I'm getting grouchy. I need a nap for sure. All right, how do we get over there? Down and up? Down and up, I think, right there. Okay. Uh, well. Where's my music? I'll sing. I'll sing it for you. Da 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 da. <laughs> ba da ba 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 ba. That's from the movies. It's The Hobbit, the Shire one. Um, didn't I say. Over here? Maybe it's up this way. There are some forgotten texts over there. Maybe we could try to go grab that while we wait for our debuff to wear off. Buried Remelad. Okay, there's the cave. We've got six minutes before we can use our barrel again. Otherwise, we are going to be in for a world of hurt. You are elite. So, um, no, oh, this is frustrating. Uh, devs, if you're watching, can you fix this? <laughs> can you fix this quest, please? Can I just keep it throughout the whole quest chain? Or make it so we don't use a barrel? It just automatically push us up there? No, I can't do that right now. We got five minutes. Alright, well, um, if that's the case, let's try to take on one of the guys without the help of the barrel, I suppose. I think we might still be okay. We're just gonna not get the heal and we're gonna go down real fast. But, good thing is, door masters are pretty nasty. Pretty nasty when it comes to damage. Although he is kicking our butt right now. Might give us a chance to use, where's that? Come. Wisdom of the Council and get a heal, a full heal off. Awareness of body. Where's the other heal? Where's the one we were, we were like dancing when we do it? Um this? No. Where's the one where we do like, uh, enters morale to an ally? No. Where we like do a dance heal? Am I thinking this? I might be thinking that. What are we at? Four minutes. <laughs> I swear we had one. Am I missing it? Is it off my bars? Um. I see. How do you see skills? Um. Hello? <laughs> oh! I don't have any of these for when I'm in red. Unbelievable. And then keep burning you. I 
And I wait, am I back to blue now? Oh, so these are all tied together. Okay. Let's see. Um how how do you see her skills? <laughs> is it not a here, here it is. Alright, I know we have one where we're like healing ourselves. Uh, inner flame. Where'd that go? Oh, that's a blue? It's a blue line one? Use power to heal morale for both your companion. Must have a summoned companion. Oh, that's a blue line one, so we can't even do that. Well, we might as well stay blue line if we're gonna... Let's take out Megley. We're gonna try to, um... Do this without the barrel. Uh, we cannot invoke. I know, I know. Get it. Even though we're in the same cave that we would be, we can only invoke at the beginning of the cave. So even if we get a little far, <laughs> we're gonna have to go back. Please don't pull too. Okay, Megley, Megs, Megs. Where's the? All right. Well, we're dead. We'll just step out of the cave if we <laughs> if we need to. If you know a better way to do this, by the way, and I'm just like a bitch and a moaning for no reason, please let me know. I'm all ears for it. If there's a way to like do this without having to wait for that dumb debuff in between this, um, that would be great. Like, am I just am I stupid? Am I not thinking? Oh, <laughs> Gotta respawn. Let's uh, let's head out the cave for a second. Doing this without the barrel is dumb. One minute. One minute and eleven seconds. You know what? Just for that, this fly is going down. Megs? We're gonna get him. There. I feel better. <laughs> I feel better. I guess they think like you're doing other stuff as you're running through here, like you're killing all this other stuff and doing quests and everything, but. Man, if you're just trying to do the book quest, this is nutty. Please get this guy. I'm having all sorts of problems today. This was the dance I was thinking of, by the way. I was, I was like, you know, the one where we do this, and I was like sitting in my chair, waving my arms around. Where's that, <laughs> that skill? Like you guys could possibly see it. Hey, where's the where's the one where he's dancing? <laughs> like he's I know they has got a a dance heel going on. Eight seconds. Get our barrel. Good. Okay. Um. Use it. Good. 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 And then. Swap it. Okay. And then summon it. Right. Let's go. You cannot invoke, but we are still already invoked. We're good. Now, this should be much easier. We won't have to run away. We'll be perfectly fine in here. Good, good. I'm happy again. I'm happy once more. Uh, but devs also, please fix that. <laughs> That's the most annoying thing this game has to offer right now. How am I supposed to speed level when I gotta wait 10 minutes between each cave, huh? Answer me that. Riddle me that. There we go. You down. Okay. All right, 
right. Back of the cave, or the deepest chamber of Thingrow should be... Back here. I wonder if it's in there. Or down here. Is it in here? I don't think so. But we'll kill these guys just to make sure. Stop stomping me, man. I, you know, coming into this uh, quest today, I was like, this has to be one of the most annoying quests for me. Like, one, of, I, I have very bad taste in my mouth with this quest, and now I remember why. Like, this is, this is why. But I couldn't remember when we started up today. So I was like, man, I'll give it a fair shot. Because <laughs> maybe I just had a bad experience, but it, it's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> like, oh, yes, that's why. <laughs> that's why I have this quest, and there's one more. Although I I'm not sure if we'll have trouble uh, with Loremaster. We might still have trouble with Loremaster. I had a lot of trouble on a Guardian um, doing the quest. And it was, I want to say it was the very last quest in one of the books where you fight a, you fight a baddie that we haven't met yet. Um, and just the amount of like fear, I think, that they give off makes it super hard. Alright, let's get these going over here. And I had to do it like five or six times and then couldn't, still couldn't do it, so I had to go get my legendary weapon from Moria and come back and do it. And then, uh, then it was fine. So that's the only other one I'm really dreading in the book quests is that one. But we'll see. We'll see how they go this time. Um, I'm just gonna... Don't mind me. I'm just gonna... Do a little... Do a little, do a little run past here. Okay. We made it. Now, bring Glorfindel's barrel back to Eladon. You know what probably is gonna be the quickest way? is to Hearthstone out. <laughs> or Milestone, I suppose. Alright, uh, because we'll go back to Rivendell, and then we'll just take the old dusty trail. Where am I? Oh, tower. Spire of Meeting, right? Spire of... Yep, Spire of Meeting. I RP'd here a lot. <laughs> this meeting. I was in a- so before I was in that- I think I've talked about this before, back when um, like RP was huge on land roval. I was in a guild that was an elvish guild or a fellowship, or no, a kinship that was a- an elvish one. And we did a lot of elf- like elf meetings in here and a lot of poetry reading at the Hall of Fire and stuff in there and that one was cool. But my favorite my favorite um, RP was when I created a, a man, a human man, and we RP'd as brigands <laughs> in the red red wolves. That was so much fun. I liked what those days. Need? We didn't come to Rivendell a whole lot. We we hung out in Bree mostly. But it was the elf one. We came out here a little bit. The thing with RP and elves is like... I don't know. It, it always feels like you're not doing them justice. Or they're like... Like kind of... Oi, I what guess. <laughs> uh, but with like RP and a, like man. Like a human. It's um much easier for me, I think. Alright. You have done as I asked, Baird Beam, and for that I am grateful. Nay, do not frown so. Had you not searched the caves, we could never be sure that the Nazgul was not hiding within, waiting for his time to strike anew. Now we have eliminated some of his possible hiding places, and for that we should be pleased. I will take Glorfindel's barrel and return it to him. 
For you, I have another avenue of inquiry, and it could be this one will bear fruit. We did all that for nothing. Ooh, but we got a new Mind earring. My words, While you were searching the stone troll caves, a productive search, do not be dismayed that you did not reveal uh, the Nazgul's location. I received word from Barachin in the south tro troll shaws. My brother dispatched him to watch over the l land south of the road, and it seems that duty has been rewarded. Barachin has reported seeing one of the wandering on Onodrim? If this is so, older and wiser eyes than our own may have seen the passing of the Nazgul and could tell us much. Travel west along the road that runs through the south troll shaws. Barachin has scouts along the road, and one of them can direct you to his camp. Barachin can tell you where to find our wayward onadrim. <laughs> I don't. Is that one of the trees that walk, or what's an onadrim? I don't. Megovanen. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, Barachin's camp. Let's go. Luckily for you, Eladon, I have already found his camp. Onadrim. Gotta be like a band of something. Hey, Barachin. How can I be of service? I have long believed that the Onadrim of legend have walked among the wooded areas of the Trollshaws, but I have never seen one for myself until now. As I climbed the high moor towards Imladris to bear messages from Rockwin and Alflank, a curious mood took hold of me. I strayed from my path, walking south down a great slope into the Valley of the Giants. From a great distance I beheld one of the Onadrim, standing like a mighty tree, its leaves turning to red. As I watched, it turned and slowly moved behind a great boulder and was lost to my view. Be careful on your journey, for the giants of that valley are formidable, and speak with this Onad. He may know the location of the Nazgul Eladon seeks. So it is like an ent. Is it like a species of ent? Like why do why are they not just called ents? Why would you take off the blue one and not? There you go. Okay. Um, and he is all the way over there. So if I go. Back to Thornhead, we can run down there. Whoops. How can I be of service? Thornhead, and then we'll just hop on our horse and head down that way. See if we can find this honored room. Uh, dismount. I don't need to. Oh, we also want to change back to blue. Alrighty. Let's head out. See if we can find this great tree-like creature in the Valley of the Giants. Did not mean to run through the bear den. <laughs> I, got, I got off the path somehow. <laughs> That's a, a grave mistake that I would not want to make in real life. Oh yeah, let me just follow this path straight into a bear den. <laughs> you know, uh, that reminds me of a movie I used to watch when I was a teenager a lot called Wild America. And it's based off the guys that created the Wild America um, like nature documentary. But it stars... I forget the older guy's name. He was... I don't remember who he is. Uh, but it stars Devin Sawa and Jonathan Taylor Thomas. <laughs> that ages me quite a bit. Uh, if you don't know who they are, uh, it's okay. That means you're much younger than I am. Uh, but yeah, they were... Well, Jonathan Taylor Thomas is... Um, he was on Home Improvement. And he was the voice of young Simba in the original Lion King. Devin Sawa... I, if you don't know who he is, I I don't even know how to explain him. He's a 90s teen idol, I guess. He was in Casper, if you ever saw Casper with Christina Ricci. Or Idle Hands might be a more, more well-known movie of his. I don't know. Oh, no. The, the most well-known? Final Destination. He was in the first Final Destination. Uh, he was the guy who foresaw... 
Oh, well, I don't want to spoil it. If no one's seen it, he foresaw what was going to happen and got them off the plane, so. The blonde main character, that's Devin Sawa. But, uh, yeah, Wild America is about them going out and discovering nature uh, in the foothills of America. And they end up in this bear cave. And it is the most animatronic fake bear experience <laughs> you've ever seen. <laughs> but I love that movie. I watch it a lot, obviously, because of the boys. But... <laughs> If you've never seen it, I would watch it at least once. It's one of those like obscure 90s movies, but I, I really like it. it. Still amuses me. I haven't watched it in quite a few years though. Alright, let's go find this giant tree thing. He said it was up here. I know where he is, but I don't know how you'd find this without quest markers. Were there quest markers in the original Lord of the Rings <laughs> uh, online? I don't... I think there were. I can't remember. I know they've made some improvements. They haven't made, like, ridiculous improvements to this, but there have been some. I think quest markers have always been there. Alright, I think we have to go... Oh jeez. Chasing us bugs. Did we go up here or did I pass it? No, I think it's right here. Okay. Greenhorn. Hey, friend. Chazelle. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Alright, now, there's gonna be... Elite, right? Yep, elite uh, dragons in our way. Kinda slip past you unnoticed. All right, then past you, and the tree should be right there. There he is, an onadrim. Is he like a a wood troll? Oh, so it's not an end. It's a tr it's a version of troll. God, he looks vicious though, huh? Alright. The Anod stares at you with expressionless eyes. Its bark-like skin is coiled with corruption, and its mouth opens and closes soundlessly. Suddenly, the deep wells of its eyes ripple with anger. <gasps> Are you fighting us? Wait, I'm not ready! I don't have a pet out! <laughs> Who are we getting out? Mavar. I forgot that he fought us. Stop that. I came here seeking your guidance. Oh, sorry. Well, he attacked us. <laughs> uh, talk to Eladon. We also got a loot box after that, but I've been saving our loot boxes for... Uh, I want to do it right... I want to do it at level 50, basically, so we get some good gear uh, to try and help that quest I was mentioning earlier. Alright, well, uh, we found him, and uh, we had to wreck him. <laughs> uh, but for right now, hey Mavar, you're just kind of hanging out over my shoulder. I think we're going to end the episode here, and when we come back, um, I'll go ahead and milestone back and get to Thornhead and talk to Eladon and see why the thing attacked us when we came out of we came to it out of respect and and uh, kind of awe at the at there being a wood troll out here. Uh, but we'll find that out in the next episode. So guys, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. Sorry I got a little salty today. Uh, that that bug with the quest or the 10-minute the cooldown 
Uh, it peeves me off, man. <laughs> Uh, but I still love the game. You should still give it a try if you're thinking about it. It's just little little things like that where um, just a little tweak would fix it. So anytime they want to tweak it, uh, I hope they do. Um, but again, thank you so much for all your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye, everyone.